I started, well, after I was done college, I sort of uh, wanted to start a band, basically. Like, I had thought about it for a long time, but I had never actually done it. So I uh, was with my friends Eric and another lady, Colby, who's not in the band with us anymore. But um, And I was like, guys, we should start a band. Like, that would be so fun. And we sort of tossed around the idea for a while. And then one day I just booked us a show. And I was like, we have a show in a month. So we have to play this show. And yeah. So yeah, so that's how it started, and um, it's... Did we guys like a songs? We had like two, we had like two, two songs, three songs, I okay. think. I think, and then we had like planned, we did a few covers. Uh, I think our first set was like maybe seven songs. You guys weren't doing like a free jazz set just because you weren't like prepared or anything? None of us are talented enough musicians <laughs> to do a free jazz no, set. No, we, um, I mean, musician isn't even a... Yeah, no. Even and it was all like myself. acoustic stuff. It was all like, um, it was like two acoustic guitars and like a piano and like a ukulele maybe a ukulele back then right? mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah um but no it was cool because i don't know we were in a theater company together that we started right out of college also um with a bunch of other mmc people um and that's kind of how claire and i because i didn't really know you at all in college mm -mm. actually like college proper um but so that was sort of the first thing that we ever did sort of by ourselves yeah um just claire and i and then colby and yeah. then and then Kev, we needed a um, drummer. Yeah, we what wanted came first, Kev or Al. Kevin. Yeah. Kevin came first because we wanted to. I mean, it was sort of like I just thought about first, like the Al or the Kev. The Al or the Kev. <laughs> we sort of like yeah, we wanted a drummer. We wanted to kind of take it to the next level, I guess. And Kevin is actually uh, a, a jazz guitarist, but he had a drum set in our parents' basement, so I knew that if push came to shove, he could totally figure it out. So I asked him to be the drummer, and they, then they weren't looking for a jazz guitarist. So we were like, not yeah. looking for a jazz guitarist, unfortunately. But... Play drums. I play rock drums. But he could play rock drums. Yeah. Uh, and then Alex. Uh... Yeah, I think I got some drunk texts. From, uh... <laughs> he was. In, I thought <laughs> Alex. I used to think Alex hated me because we recorded with him once. Yeah, we had. Some, we, we didn't, we didn't have a good. We didn't tension. vibe at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's you guys right. Didn't talk there for we didn't vibe at all. I, I, didn't, I, barely, I barely talked to you during that session. It's why I thought it was strange. I left and I was like. I think you were both. I think you were both <laughs> mutually intimidated by each other. Yeah, I was yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was definitely intimidated. I thought your acoustic guitar. I didn't like that ovation and that kind of. <laughs> it wasn't my. Like, that set the tone. That set the tone. So to speak. That set the tone. That. It wasn't an ovation. Remember, it was a knockoff ovation. It was an applause. <laughs> That's it was right. Applause. Yeah, like the, the it was literally not an ovation. Brother. It was called an applause. applause. Yeah, it's called an applause. That's like, oh, yeah. wow, that's wow. so funny. That shell back. I hate it. It's applause. terrible, terrible, terrible guitar. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, because I was going to NYU for music tech, so he had access to a recording studio, so we were using him, essentially, yeah. to record yeah. for free. But he was in a band called Kefi. I've been kind of used also. Let me just set the record straight. Like, <laughs> this whole time, because the first time I met Claire, she would invite me up to her apartment in 96th Street, and she would say, you can only come if you bring Insomnia cookies, because mm -hmm. I live downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you wanted like, to I come up so badly. I wanted to party. Out. I didn't have any friends. You didn't have any friends <laughs> your, your freshman year. So yeah. I fucking trek up to the uh, upper. Um, is it language cool? With <laughs> I trek up to the, up, to the Upper East Side <laughs> with cookies just to like make friends. Um, but look what it turned into. Yeah, it did turn into something good, but it was a brute. It was a long road of treachery. Yeah. Yeah, they're married now. <laughs> oh no, you're not yet. No, no, no. no, no. I'm sorry, sorry. Um, you're not married. But, but yeah, so they were. We they were, we played a couple shows with KP. Um, yeah, it's my old band, KP. And then we. Uh, and then I. I had heard that they. I kind of got to where I didn't hate Alex as much. And then I had heard that they <laughs> broke up. And that night, like Claire was like nonchalantly was like, KP broke up. And I was like, I drunkenly, I was like, give me his, give me his phone number. Yeah, we were like, let's yeah. get a basis in this band. And Alex also is like a very talented musician and can kind of run the gamut of whatever he wants to play, he can sort of do. So I didn't even know if he had a bass, but I was like, can you get a bass? Yeah. Do you want to play bass? Was a bass? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that's the bass we actually use, still use. Still, right? Yeah, yeah why well, get a new one? But it was pretty... Um... Temp like I was just kind of playing bass, like temporary. Yeah, it, it didn't was really feel temporary. like really like I was a. You don't want to part step of on, the band like in the yeah. old, uh, old school like. You don't want to step on anyone's toes as yeah. a songwriter because exactly. you kind of just wanted to be in the background. Yeah, like it wasn't really you and my I. band. Like I was just playing bass for like this weird like couple months. Although you you had always displayed like you know talent with songwriting, but you didn't want to do anything. Yeah, I mean I've been writing songs for. I mean I had already written a ton of songs at that point. Like, um, but then when Colby left the band and just became a foursome like then we really gelled like we kind of had to figure out who we were really really fast mm -hmm. and um you know that's when i think like this the the modern jackpot came to be was when that happened and 
And then I definitely took more of a role with like songwriting and it felt more like my band. And I also played guitar now a lot. Me and Eric mm -hmm. switched guitar bass. Yeah. So.